Yahweh, the breath of the great I am in me. This will revolutionize and transform your life forever. God's name is almost always translated Lord, all in caps, in the English Bible. But the Hebrew would be pronounced something like Yahweh, expressing the word for I am. You will recall the words to Moses from the burning bush. I am hath sent me unto you. I am told that those are the only consonants in the Hebrew alphabet that are not articulated with lips and tongue. Rather, they are breathed. The tongue is relaxed and the lips are apart. The name of God could not be spoken at all, only breathed. Many are convinced that its correct pronunciation is an attempt to replicate and imitate the very sound of inhalation and exhalation. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. By way of demonstration, inhale, exhale, Every breath you take is a living testament to this fact. The great I am has always been as close to you as the very air you now breathe. Yahweh. Yahweh means, like the very breath you breathe, I am always with you. I always have been and always will be, even to your very last breath. When considered in this way, God is suddenly as available and accessible as the very thing we all do constantly. Breathe. Jesus placed special value on this name when he prayed, Hallow be thy name. In his prayer before the crucifixion, Jesus uttered these words, O righteous Father, I have declared to them your name, that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. The word for spirit in the original is pneuma, which means breath, hence our use of the word pneumonia. There is no Christian or other faith's way of breathing. There is no American, Latino, African, or Asian way of breathing. There is no rich or poor, gay or straight way of breathing. From the moment of our first breath, the breath of God took possession of each and every one of us. When each of us expire, his name will be spoken one last time. With our final exhale of the last syllable of his name, we will all expire and find ourselves in his presence. In his final moment, it is said, and Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathe his last. I think we all now know what his final breath may have sounded like. <sighs> After his resurrection, it says he met with his disciples for a final time. 
And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit or the Holy Breath. As with Adam, so it is with every human being breathing right now. He is